participate. Mm -hmm. Be respectful. Thank you for being on time. Stay muted. I know you want to you want to call out things. Wait, okay? Then I'll tell you when. I promise. It's my promise. I change your name if you can on Zoom. Stay in your spot until I tell you to move around. Mm -hmm. No wiggles. And then eyes on the screen. Okay, here we go. What are we doing today? This is our math live lesson. So let me tell you a little bit about what we're going to do. Today, you, me, I, we will use number bonds. Yes, that's part of your lessons in this module is number bonds. And we're going to use number bonds so you can write and solve equations. You know you have it when you can create a number bond and use it to help you solve equations. Oh, you have to do both. Next steps. Yes, you will use number bonds to help you create fact families. And we'll learn more about what fact families are in a little bit. So what have we learned already? Now, you know, I'm like the strategy queen, okay? So I assume that you will all be princes and princesses of strategies. So we have a bunch of strategies. Strategy. Oh yeah, I remember. That's a way to solve a problem. Yeah. It's almost like a little tool that you have that you can pull out and, and use it to solve a problem. So let's see what strategies you've learned so far in first grade. You can add and subtract within 10. You've learned how to compare numbers. Which one's bigger? Which one's smaller? That's a strategy. You've learned how to use models, mm -hmm, little pictures to help you uh, solve problems and use dots. Don't do complicated pictures. Remember that? Yeah, just simple dots. It goes much faster. I, I, it's true. And you've learned about doubles and doubles plus one. You've learned about using a number line. And also now that you know, we're gonna be using number bonds and then soon fact families. All right. Okay, Walter, uh, you're, if you have no questions, don't type in the chat yet, okay? All right, let's, oops, here comes someone else. Now, let's talk about those number bonds I promised I would teach you. So on your screen right now, you will see a beautiful example of what number bonds are and what they look like. The first thing you'll notice is that it's like, well, this one has a square and then two circles underneath. So this example on the top, five, and then it, hmm, it has a three and a two underneath. Okay, so that's important to me because we've sort of seen a little bit about what, um, what a number bond looks like before. You have seen it. And to me, it looks like a part, a part, and the whole thing. Imagine, who's that? Imagine for a moment that uh, your number bond is used for an equation. So if you could use those numbers in an equation, how could you use them? Hmm. So they have an example right next to it. How could we use our number bond numbers? And boy, they're related to each other because I know that three and two, if you put them together, if you add those together, the sum is five. So those are related. That's sort of like you and maybe two people in your family. You're related to each other. Mm -hmm. So a number bond has to be related. And then once they're related, you can make a whole bunch of equations using the number bond numbers. So let's look at the first example here. The first one I have right down here is the first part. We broke five into two parts and the first part is three and we added the other part, part, a part, and you made a whole part, part, whole, part, part, whole. Mm -hmm. So your two parts come together. We add those together. Those are the called the, the what's, the add ends. And then we have our sum. Good. Now move on because I'm going to be asking you questions in a minute. So I hope you're listening. We can also use those same number bond numbers to make a subtraction sentence. And notice right underneath, we use the same numbers. I didn't come up with any new numbers. Nobody told me anything different. I have to use the same numbers. 
and it has to make sense. So let's use the same numbers to make a subtraction sentence. Let's see, when we are taking away or giving away, we have to start with the biggest number, the richest number, and that is five. So we start with the whole number five and we can take away which one part? Oh, we'll take away the three first and then three, five, take away three. I can do that on my hands. Boop, boop, boop. That's two left. And of course that makes sense. That's the only other number in the number bond. A five, a three, and a two. Great. So I'm going to go much faster. Let's look at the bottom one. Nine is the whole. And then we broke nine. Let's say that Brooklyn had nine cookies and she gave two to Miss Cruz and she gave seven to Ms. Wood. She broke those nine cookies into two groups. Mm -hmm. So that's her fact family number bond. So she has a number bond with a nine, a two, and a seven. Can we use those three related numbers to make related facts? Yes, we can. So we can use the, oh, let's put the parts back together. Seven cookies and two cookies. And what do they equal? The whole thing, the sum, nine. Can we use the same numbers to make a subtraction sentence? Yes, flip them around. Nine cookies give away two, and that will leave seven left. All right, so there's a few things for you to remember here before I move on to the next thing. The number bond has three numbers, a part, a part, the whole, a part, a part, the whole. Can you make equations using those numbers? Yes, Miss Cruz, of course you can. You can make two addition and two subtraction just by flipping those numbers around and making sure they make sense in four different equations. So let's get on with it. It's your turn. I told you it was coming. Okay. So on the top, it says we have our first number bond, a seven. Oh, and we have seven cookies and we broke it into two parts. We have six for Ms. Mrs. Cruz and one for Ms. Wood now. Can we use these three numbers to get ready? Plug the number in to the equation and have it make sense. So right next to our first number bond, seven broken into six and one, can we use those numbers to finish the equations next to it? First equation is mm, something plus one equals seven. We'll go back to your number bond. What was the other number? Ah, 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 yeah, I know, it was a, it was a six. So I have to use the numbers in a number bond. Remember, you can't come up with some crazy number. It, you have to use the numbers from the number bond. No strangers are allowed. That's a little family right there. Don't let any strangers come in. Mm. So when you're filling out your equations, go back and look at the number bond to find the related numbers and plug them in. So let's see how you're doing. You guys ready? You work on all three. This is just for practice, okay? Just to understand. Oh, 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 look at Cedar. All right, I'm going to be able, able to only look at about three or four of them before I need to rush onward. So let's see. Yes, look at Cedar. He noticed that the number bond had a seven, a six, and a one. And in the equation, it was missing one of those parts, and it was six. So, and that makes sense. He can't use seven again. It's already in the equation. Huh, that would be like saying Miss Cruz, Miss Cruz equals Miss Cruz. You can't do that. You have to use all the numbers in the number bond and don't come up with any strange numbers and don't reuse the number. Okay. So here we have on his equation for his uh, subtraction equation. We started with the seven. We took away one of the parts. And of course, what's the only other part left? Here's the one. Beautiful. I love your work, sir. Very nice. Okay, I'll have time to look at Jaden's. <gasps> yes, Jaden. Ooh, you let a stranger in the house. Come back here and look at this middle one. All right, so now uh, notice that you wrote five minus two equals three, but let's look at the number bond next to it. Those numbers are not part of that number, that family. We have to use a nine, a two, and a seven, okay? You did on the first one on the addition, but let's reuse those same numbers, a nine, a two, and a seven, instead of adding some strangers in the house. 
Okay, you can try again. Totally fine. Let's look at Benito's. Ah, look at Ben's. Ooh, let's look at this one. He has the same numbers from the number bond. So all he had to do was go peek at them and see which numbers was he missing. Oh, okay, so I had a seven, I had a six, but I didn't have the one. Let's plug in the one. And he did the same thing for nine, two, and seven. He plugged in those parts mm -hmm. so he could make the equation. Very important. I'm going to say it again. Don't let any strangers into your equations. They don't belong there. Only use the related number bond numbers. Okay, and then the bottom one, I think it's really hard for me to read this, but it says 10 plus zero equals, what's that number right there? Is that an 11 or a 10? Because if we had said 11, then you know you let a stranger in the house because there's no 11 there, is there? So that's okay. You can go back and fix that if it is. And let's look at Brooklyn. Ooh, Brooklyn, look at you. So I have here, um, she's working on the first two. But notice here on the bottom, this is important. She has her first equation, 10 plus zero equals 10. She has a 10 plus a zero equals 10. She used all three numbers, but look at the second one. Mm, she let a stranger in, I think. I think she let a stranger in the house. Oh, there aren't two zeros. Oh, wait a minute. There's only one zero to use. I have to use two tens and one zero. So I'm not sure how this extra zero snuck in that little house. I don't know. We need to make sure that we use the numbers from the number bond. All right, guys. Um, yum, 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 yum. Let me see. Do I have time? Do I have time? Let's look at Aditya's. Yes. Oh, man. I think you are the number bond king, Aditya. Look at you. Check this out, guys. This is a great example. He's used for every single equation. He's used the numbers only from the number bond that's related to it. So 10 plus zero equals 10, yes. 10 minus zero equals 10, yes. Let's look at the middle one. Yes, he used a nine, two and a seven. No strangers in those houses. And look at his subtraction equation, it makes sense. When you subtract, you always have to start with a big rich number first. Can't give away if you don't have enough. All right, we're gonna move on, guys. This was just your first practice. Don't worry if you don't get it right. But now we're gonna do some zooming. Yes, just like in our, um, in our number bond equations, we were looking at how we can do an addition and a subtraction sentence using the same numbers. It's so easy. Wait till you see how easy it is. Your question is, how can I find a related subtraction fact? It's easy. Reverse it. That's right. Look at me drive my little car in my addition problem. It says two plus six equals, oops, hold on. Hold on, guys. Two plus six equals eight. So everybody knows that if you have two and you add six more, you're going to equal eight. And that's the normal way to drive, right? Just forward. But if I wanted to use the same numbers. I'm going to do that with my echo voice. If I wanted to, to, to say, use the same, 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 same number, 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 numbers, I go backwards. That's right. So check me out. I'm going to start at the eight and I'm going to reverse it and drive backwards and create a subtraction sentence. All right. So watch how I drive backwards. Eight minus six equals two. I went backwards. That's so cool. So take your little finger across the screen, try not to touch it, and drive forwards. On the first drive, it says two plus six equals eight. Vroom, vroom. Now we're going to reverse it. Reverse it. Subtract what you know. Now take your finger and start on the eight and go backwards. Ready? Eight minus six equals two. No fingers are used. What happened to your fingers? Somebody eat them this morning? What happened to all your fingers? <laughs> so do it with me on the screen. Ready, guys? Go forwards. Show me. Go right to your camera. Put your finger up there. Ready? Go drive forwards and now drive backwards. Ready? <laughs> 
Very nice. Forwards and backwards on your equations, you will be able to reverse your equation and subtract what you know. And so now look underneath. I have created my subtraction sentence. Eight, that's right, I start with the big number. And if I went backwards, I now can subtract one of the parts. Six came next. And then that will equal what was left. Two. Very nice. Okay, Miss Cruz, you talk a lot. Let's keep going. Let's give them a chance. Okay, you are going to drive yourselves. You are going to match the reverse equation. <clears throat> Just pull it right next to it. The reverse equation to make a subtraction sentence that matches that little family. So for an example, the top one says eight plus one equals nine. Can you reverse it? Can you find us a, a related subtraction sentence using the same numbers? No strangers, no strangers. Don't let them in your house. And slide it right next to it. Yes, this is supposed to be a slide. I'm gonna look and see how we're doing. Ooh, look at this. Look at Arush. Very nice. Oh, you know all about reverse it. Reverse it. Subtract what you know. Because here on the top one, eight plus one equals nine. He found the reversed subtraction related fact. Instead of starting at eight plus one, he went backwards. He went to the big number, nine, and took away one and he equals eight. You can now flip the numbers around a little bit, but you have to make sure you start with the big number. Mm -hmm. Can't give away unless you have a lot. Beautiful job, Arush. Let's look at Almo's. Ooh, Almo, very nice. <gasps> yes. Wow. You guys picked that up so fast. I am impressed. Look at me. Look at mine. I'm trying. Don't yell at me. Oh, I'll cry. Okay. So look at C. Darts. Very good. My goodness. That was the fastest thing you've ever done, guys. Here is Aditya's, very nice. He has the related subtraction. Here's London's, Be oops. Let's look at this one right here. London, your first one is great. It matches eight plus one equals nine, reverse it. Nine minus one equals eight. Let's look at the next one. Two plus four equals six. Now look at the related fact you put next to it. Those have strangers. Hmm. A nine, a four, and a five is not related to two, four, and six. So you can move him around and find one of the equations that matches those numbers. All right, let's look at Jaden's. Yes. Oh, Jaden, that looks amazing. Very good. Let's go look at Yelini's. Yelini knows it. Look at her go. Beautiful job. Who's this? This is Walter. Ooh, Walter. I like how you put them right on top. I can't read underneath, but I think they're right. I do think they're right. Very good. And who have I not? I didn't see Francis. Yes, I think those are, yeah, they look right to me. Wonderful, guys. Okay. If you haven't, if you don't have time to finish, Work on it when I'm done, okay? When we're finished, I'll send this out and you guys can practice finding related subtraction facts. Okay, I don't know how much time we're gonna, ooh, we're gonna do the train hookup. Can you hook up your trains? It's the same thing. See if you can find the matching. The matching, oh, that's a key word. Yeah, related, <gasps> another key word. Related, it's gotta be the same. It's like in your family, you're related right? And the fact that it has the same numbers, oh, no strangers. Stop letting strangers in your house. It's not good. <laughs> and let's see how you're doing. Oh, look at all that work going on. Oh, we have C. Darts finished. Wow, look at you. Yep, he knows how to reverse it, reverse it, subtract what you know. I said reverse it, reverse it, subtract what you know. Yes, have an equation, reverse it to make a subtraction. Example of a subtraction equation, B, oops. Let's look at this one down here. Who's this, Arush? Um, we have a stranger in the house. 
So at the very bottom, we have a two plus a six equals eight. And your, um, your related, related fact has a 10 in it. So it can't match this. Oh, yep. You're, <laughs> I see what you're doing. Okay. Beautiful. That's so good. Yes. Nice job. I love the stranger in the house lesson. You guys are wonderful. There's Brooklyn's. Yay, Brooklyn. All right, loves. Let's get on with it. Now we're going to talk very quickly about looking for clues. That's right. When you see a word problem and you are reading it through, and yes, in first grade, you will have lots of word problems and you have to solve it. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Like, a, like an investigator, like a spy, like a detective. That's correct. So there is a way to do that. And I'm just going to quickly go over and then your parents can help me reinforce. Okay. Your families at home can help me reinforce the ways to look for clues to solve a problem. Now, how do we do that? Let's show you. So this is called cues. Whoops, somebody unmuted. Mute. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Okay. Do you know the cubes checklist? Circle the numbers in the problem. So you'll notice on the next example that we circle the numbers that we find in the word problem. So there's a bunch of words and there's going to be numbers too. And all you have to do is circle them. The next thing you have to do is underline the question. I'm going to show you, you don't need to underline everything. You only need to underline the question that's important. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's like going in your room and putting on all your clothes. <laughs> Do you need to put them all on? No, you need to put on only the outfit you're going to wear. You don't throw everything on. When you go in your refrigerator, you don't eat everything. You only eat what you need to eat. So in a question, remember you only underline the part that is the actual question, not all the other stuff. Now we put a red box around the action word. So if it tells you to add more or what's left, those are key words that we... Sorry, I'm looking for the focus, breaking our promise. Mm. Okay, we put a red box around the math action words. I'll show you that in a moment. And then London, London, London. Why do you keep unmuting? Okay, and then we underline, mm, it says eliminate the extra information. We can, well, I'll show you that in a moment, but how to get rid of the stuff we don't need. And then the last part is to solve it. So we have a little acronym here. So you remember cubes, C for circle, U for underline, B for box, E for eliminate, S for solve it. Now let's see what that looks like. And then we will rush onward. Look what they did. There's a word problem and they circled it. You guys are about to try this. Mm -hmm. So let's watch. There are six subway stations. They circle the number six. In the city where Lamar lives is not something I need to know. Look how they eliminated the stuff we don't care about. He has visited two. <gasps> circle the number of the subway stations. And here's the question. Look, they underlined the question. How many stations does he have left to visit? You for underline, and they did the just the question, and then look what they did here. They put a red box around what they think they need to do as the action. It's a subtraction problem, so we're going to cross out. There are six subway stations. They drew their model. They visited two of them. Cross out the two they visited. See how many are left? It's four. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time with this because this is something that you will learn how to do in first grade, and you will use it for the rest of your life. That's right. So you have plenty of time to practice how to use this strategy to help you solve a word problem is to, are you ready? Let's do it. Circle the numbers that you see. Circle the numbers that you see. Harvey travels on the streetcar to get to his karate class. Do we really need to know that? <laughs> Not really. He used to go seven times each week. Now he only goes two times each week. Hmm. How many fewer trips a week does Harvey travel on the streetcar? 
knowing our cube strategy, we circle the numbers that you see. We underline the question alone. Hmm, the question's at the end, isn't it? It has a question mark, so I know it's a question. We put a red box around the action. And I know the action because it says fewer. <gasps> fewer means less, doesn't it? And then E for eliminate. Pretty much all the other words we don't care about. We don't need to know anything more but the question, the action, and the numbers. And then E for eliminate was that one. And then S for solve it. Okay, that's easy. We have to draw seven circles and cross out how many? Yeah? Anybody drawn seven circles? I'm about to look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jacinda, is that you? Please don't break your promise. Did you draw seven circles, Jacinda? Did you cross out two? I'm about to peek. How about Christopher? Did you? You can do it on paper too, you know. Do you have a piece of paper next to you? Find a piece of paper. Go find one. Draw seven circles. Oh, look at C. Darth. Wow, man. But yesterday wasn't the 13th. I think. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, you drew a number bond. That's right. You put the number bond numbers in the number. The whole number, the big Mac Daddy, <laughs> goes on top. And then we have our parts broken into two parts, two and five. Let's look at it. Yes, ooh, beautiful. Teacher, um, I do have a piece of paper. I already have books. And now we have uh, a rouge. Teacher, I already have books and that's it. And we also have, oh, let's see. Okay, so um, a rouge, if you drew seven circles and you crossed out two, because he said that he used to go seven times a week and now he only goes two a week. So let's cross out the two and see how many times he still goes on the streetcar, which is like a little, like a little trolley. And I think you might come up with a different answer. Oh, look at Brooklyn. I love it. So she should have circled the seven and the two and underlined the final question. How many fewer? Um, and then that whole question right there is underlined. It's okay if you don't get it right away. You will practice this and become masters. There's Jaden. Oh, look at you. Now, instead of saying minus two, you don't need to do, draw more. You just need to draw seven and cross out two of them. Remember that um, addition and, and subtraction are very much opposite. And so they, you would have a different model. You wouldn't draw more to subtract. Just draw the total and then cross out the part. And that will prevent any mistakes or boo-boos from thinking you have too many. Look at Walters. Oh, that's fabulous. Okay, guys, you can practice this on your own. Don't worry with this is once again, just a strategy to help you solve word problems. Now, what's this? Matches. Ooh, we're going to do a match game. Uh, let's see. Let's look at our pairs. Okay, I want you to find the number bond with the little kids and match it to the equation that is related to it. Fast as you can. Match the number bond to the related equation. Oh, Yalini, nice job. All right, and Francis and Benito and Jaden. Oh my goodness, look at all of you guys. That was phenomenal and you did it. So your number bonds, your number bonds should match to an eight and it makes a 10 and it would match the related equation if you did it and you did it. 
just right. I'm very impressed. So how can number bonds help us solve problems? Ooh, we're almost done with our lesson. You guys ready? We're gonna watch this and then I'm gonna let you go, okay? I don't know that we have time for anything else. So let's just quick watch. How are number bonds gonna help us with fact families? Hello, boys and girls. <laughs> it is cold up here. I'm glad that I have my nice warm hood and fluffy mittens. Today, we're gonna participate in a dog sled race, so we need to prepare for it properly. During the preparations, we will look for fact families. Fact families help us both with addition and subtraction. I will show you one of the most basic fact families. So, I have three ropes. Two ropes for the dog and one rope for the sled. Oh, look at that. Does that look like a number bond to you? <gasps> yes, it does. The sum broken into two parts. That's a number bond. Let's see. Hey. Two plus one is three. And one plus two is three. I can keep this rope in my pack. So three minus one equals two. And three minus two equals one. Whoa, can you all see that? How many equations did they make with a number bond? Count all the equations you see. Oh, Walter, I like your answer. Who else? Hold up your finger. Show me how many different equations we can make. Very good, C. Darth. Anyone else? Yes, Aditya. Brooklyn, if you said four, Prisha, yes, you got it right. Jaden, can you see four or five? Count how many equations you see. Now here comes a big thinker question. Arush, can you tell how many addition problems there are? How many have pluses? Hold up your fingers and show me. Right to the camera. Okay, if you said four, that's too many. It doesn't have, all of them don't have pluses. So how many have pluses? If you said two, you got it right. So two plus one and one plus two. I see two equations that have pluses. How many have minuses, London? How many are subtraction? Hold up your fingers. How many? Four. All four don't have subtraction minus problem, minus symbols. So how many actually only have minuses? <gasps> Brooklyn, yes, I only see two minuses. Three minus one and three minus two. So guys, this is important for you to know. I think you should tell this secret to your families later. A number bond fact family will have two addition problems and two subtraction problems. <gasps> That's right. You can make four different equations to addition and to subtraction. That's something you need to know. So practice that at home. Come up with a number bond. I'm gonna stop right now, okay? And come up with a number bond. And then I want you to see if you, yes, very good guys, you're putting it in there. Um, I want you to come up with two addition and two subtraction problems. All right, my lovies. I think we are all done. <laughs> for the day. Um, I have to go to, all right, we'll do one quick game. Are you ready? Well, let's see if I can find you. I got to see my gallery view. Okay, you ready? Okay, okay. Um, I'm thinking of something blue. Hurry up and find it. You have five seconds. One, two, yeah, <laughs> your headphones. Three, four. Oh, look at that. There's an ice pack. Oh, very nice. What's that, Francis? That looks cool. Oh, look at the toy. And a pencil and, and a shirt <laughs> and scissors. Beautiful. Okay, ready? Oh, I like that, Prisha. Okay, find something that is oh, yellow. Quick, five seconds. One, two. Yeah, look at the cube. Oh, a marker. Another marker. Uh, what's that? Oh, it looks like a, uh, I love that. Play-Doh, right? A car. And and oh, what's that at the bottom, Manasvi? 
That's cool. Oh, look at Yelini's got something. And Parisha, Walter's got a yellow fork. <laughs> There's something yellow behind Siddharth. I don't know what it is. And look at Jariah's shirt. Perfect. Find something um, squishy. Find something squishy. And no, don't grab your dad. He's not that squishy. <laughs> What's a squishy, soft, plush? Let's think of some other words. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's Mickey Mouse. Very, oh yeah, I can see it, Jariah. Oh, <laughs> there's Pillow. Oh, there, oh, I like sea darts. Uh, and there's Jaden's. Oh, London, very nice. Oh, look at Yelini's. <laughs> Almo, that is kind of squishy. Yes. Oh, Brooklyn's got something. I like Francis's. Christopher. <laughs> <laughs> Benito and La Lacharia. Oh, how pretty. I love that color. Oh my goodness. All right, my loves. I love you. And I need to see in about in about 20 minutes at 11 o'clock, same Zoom link. But I need to see my group one. I texted your parents. Come back and see.